Ah. Ah. It's really a free country, Batman, if I have to... to have a vaccine passport to go somewhere, Batman. Joker! Doesn't make you a second-class citizen, just get the vaccine. See, Batman, aren't we all vaccinated? Don't we have an immune system? <laughs> Batman? <laughs> Batman. Immunity doesn't work. They tried that in Sweden. They're all dead, Joker. Never said I wanted to be a part of the herd, Batman. I'm a Sigma. <laughs> I walk along, Batman. First of all, Batman, shouldn't you welcome COVID? Didn't it come from a bat? <laughs> 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 no, they cooked one of me in a soup. <laughs> Can you guess what all these people have in common? What about this dad and his son? What about this guy in an interview? What about this guy who's clearly not very good at driving? Well, I'll tell you what they have in common. They all want to play Raid Shadow Legends and let nothing in life distract them from it. Every great game has end game content. And if you've ever played any kind of RPG game in your life, you know that end game content is pretty much the goal. Well, with Raid Shadow Legends, the end game is the Doom Tower. And the reason it is the end game is because it's loaded with rooms that can either be pretty easy or pretty hard, depending on what kind of team you put together. There are a lot of bosses within the Doom Tower. And if you're familiar with bosses in RPG games, they're usually not very easy to kill. Some bosses require champions that need to be able to put on debuffs, and some bosses can pretty much negate debuffs. So you need to know what you're doing whenever you encounter a boss. I suggest doing your research instead of going in there blindly so you know what the hell you're doing. That's always been one of my favorite things about Raid is that at any level skill you have, you can pretty much have fun. It doesn't cater to three-year-olds like some of those games you see on like Snapchat stories or whatever. And then you know the ones where you're running through the little thing and you got to do math or whatever. Yeah, no, Raid Shadow Legends is a legit game. If you want to get far, you have to put in the effort, do your research, but most importantly have fun. What's new in Raid this month is a big update they got coming called the Guardian Ring. It's a huge feature that gives you a load of new ways to use your champions, including a whole faction guardian system, a new way to get legendary champions you missed out on, and an entirely new way to upgrade your favorite champions. With all these updates, Raid has never been in a better place, and there's some more giant updates right around the corner. If you were on the fence before, now is the perfect time to get started. And if you want an even bigger head start, all you have to do is click the link in the description or scan the QR code right here. New players will get an epic hero Shinaru, 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. We'll find your rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days. And that's pretty much all I have to say, so let's get right back into the video. When you're just trying to get the class and the school shooters just going ham. Just <laughs> <laughs> keep my head down, pretend he's not there. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Bruh. That was fucking awful. Oh my god, it's still going on! What the hell was even that? I was like watching a couple of retards eat a tub of mustard. <laughs> In what way? The, the you knives? You don't want to jerk off to it, but you just got to. <laughs> it made me come, but I feel terrible. <laughs> that post not clarity hitting different. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh <laughs> shit! What the fuck? <laughs> Shot that bitch out of his fucking shoes. <laughs> You think the Founding Fathers would have objected to having their face on a currency that's ultimately put in the thongs of strippers in, in Las Vegas? <laughs> Maybe that's why they were called the Founding Fathers. They wanted to help strippers find their fathers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh my god. <laughs> That, that's the that's the real national treasure. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that's the real hidden code on the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> oh my fuck! What did you even do? <laughs> I didn't even see what happened. <laughs> oh my god! You just three sixty like, no three scope him. Sixty me. <laughs> Look at the flick in the wrist. Look at the flick in the wrist. <laughs> Look at the flick in the wrist. Okay, stop. <laughs> I still can't come to terms with the fact that Blast Baby fucking murdered someone. <laughs> I still can't come to terms and conditions. They're not very sexy. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I've tried so many times, just can't do it. I just can't get it up, dude. <laughs> Liberal Chungus. Yeah! <laughs> I hope in the, uh, the Chungus Wikipedia they eventually just add Liberal Chungus. Is that his last name? <laughs> Chungus Wikipedia! His last name's Wikipedia. I'm gonna name my firstborn Wikipedia. <laughs> Cause you can't trust that motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> 
Hey, Listen. girl, is your name Cliff Notes? Because I can read you like a book. <laughs> no, that's the point of Cliff Notes, just to not have to read the book. Damn, girl, you a car? Because I want to get inside of you with my entire family and go to Walmart. <laughs> 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 that Asian I, pussy got me speaking wing dings. <laughs> <laughs> what would that sound like? That's <laughs> 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 fucking funny. <laughs> Stop. Stop laughing like that. Stop. Stop. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. Stop. Dude. Oh, 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 man. That's golden. Please stop. That's golden. Stop. I'm trying to breathe. <laughs> we found McNasty's niche. Absolutely loves jokes about wing dings. Font jokes really get me. <laughs> I a joke about fucking jokes. Helvetica and I will fucking die for days. Big fan of font jokes. <laughs> oh my god. Definitely a Comic Sans moment for sure. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I hit him in a van going 80 mi 80 like 80 miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, I hit a kangaroo. Did it destroy your car? Well, I wasn't driving it wasn't my van. Oh. But I was in the van when it happened. You know what you're meant to do when you hit a kangaroo is pull over immediately and then reach into their, their dead pray to all body. Up. You reach into their pouch to see if there's a baby Joey that was Quran. injured. <laughs> <laughs> What is sacrifice? <laughs> There's just a Quran in every kangaroo pouch. <laughs> <laughs> like a hotel room Bible. It's just a Quran There's in every kangaroo. A made in China Bible. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that bit took a sharp left that turn. That was weird. I was like, <laughs> well, are you actually just supposed to check for little puppy? No, yeah, you look for, like, their baby. Puppy. They have, like, a baby in their pouch. Mm. And you need to take them out of the pouch, and you need to kill them. What the fuck, really? Oh, God, you're supposed oh. to kill them? You're supposed to kill them. It's like a mercy-killing thing. Holy they fucking can't, shit, they can't, no. they can't live if their parent's dead. And, and you can't just, you can't, you can't just, like, nurse them. So you, you spawn kill them, basically. You take them out, <laughs> and you crush them under your heel. I, I would just pick it up and just throw it as far as I could. <laughs> Just get back in my car and run it over again. Yeah. <laughs> Just throw in your exhaust pipe and put it right it. under your tire. Just pop. <laughs> Just leave it in my glove box. <laughs> oh! <laughs> leave it in there for about a month. Poke a hole in it. And fuck it. <laughs> Make a little earrings out of it. Put it in resin. <laughs> Just take it, it to the post office and drop it off in the box. <laughs> Place a Reese's peanut butter cup with it and give it out to a kid. <laughs> Anyways, I went on for All right, well. a long time. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> Not. When I try to tie my shoes with the other hand. Not. <laughs> <laughs> When I grow a pumpkin and it comes out weird shape, gore. Gord. <laughs> <laughs> when I grow pumpkin, but it's just pumpkin, not gore. <laughs> Favorite metal band, Slipknot. <laughs> Why do people say you're getting burnt alive or he got burnt alive? Like, does anyone give a fuck about dead people getting burnt? It's called cremation soup. Yeah, it's yeah, but very you, common. You, you know what I mean? Like, That's my no, favorite kind of soup. <laughs> no one ever says you got burnt dead. Mmm, <laughs> mm, grandma soup. Mmm, mm, good, baby. Mm. <laughs> yes, McNasty, soup joke number 1,000. Thank you. You're welcome. You guys remember Break and, like, Fail Army and shit? It was like the <laughs> weekly epic fails and epic wins. I feel like that website's yeah, how baby. I found uh, Friday by Rebecca Black. I mean, with a last name like that, you just know something's gonna go wrong. Okay. Like what, Soup? <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> just something's not gonna work. 
like at all, like ever. Maybe <laughs> Rebecca live off government. <laughs> <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? That's that might right. be the most racist thing you've ever said, dude. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm just, oh, I'm just no. playing into the joke. Come on, he started it. <laughs> well, I wasn't alluding to that. Why couldn't oh. you have done like Rebecca NBA or something? Uh, like, okay. Still like a positive funny, stereotype. But <laughs> but yeah, exactly. Rebecca tall and fit. Rebecca big conquer. You know, okay. Re Rebe something. My bad. Yeah. Rebecca can't My support bad. a family. Something better than that, come on. That is so much better, you're right. I should have said that. <laughs> Editor, don't. <laughs> Editor, do. No. Editor, Editor's that's no way to do is bad. That's going in my video. Editor, please. <laughs> Attention viewers, it's all jokes, and if you're offended, it's your own problem. <laughs> Let's put a Get disclaimer over. after the joke. <laughs> I, I used to have an original fear of Michael Jackson as a kid. I used to think if I closed my eyes in the shower, he was going to come in and butthole pound me. I don't think that's irrational. You thought, that, you thought that as a kid? I still kind of think it, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come out the drain like Pennywise or some shit? <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> so you just like wash your face with your eyes open? <laughs> I <laughs> wash my eyeballs. Into your eyes. I have terrible fucking vision. But at least Michael Jackson can't butthole pound me. That's a sacrifice you had to make. He he. My pronouns be like. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> my, Michael, ja Michael Jackson's pronouns are he and he. He he and he. <laughs> that is so fucked up. <laughs> what if Michael Jackson just said they they in his songs? <laughs> Baby, 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 baby. I don't would, think they'd be as good. I would not support him or his music. <laughs> Boycott. But dangle baby out of window, no problem. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> it was kind of lit. It was kind of lit when he did that. I don't know if lit is the right word. Dangle a child over a balcony isn't lit to you? It's pretty sigma if you think about it. He yeah. was trusting his own strength, dude. He just he knows what he's capable of. He's like, I wasn't gonna drop him, I had a firm grace. It's like, I wrote Thriller, it's him, fine. Him by his neck. It's completely unrelated. <laughs> wrote Thriller. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard Beat It? It's gonna be fine. I can dangle a baby, alright? What do you think is the worst name for a child? It's Magma. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Very different answers. Well, those, are, those, are, those, are, those are two pretty good answers. We can explore both of those, yes. I mean, just imagine going to school and the teacher literally has to call out... Um, like it's, it's French, it's Fago. Fago, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about just like horse cock? How much do you have to hate your child to name them horse cock? Oh, little baby horse cock. Name him like 55. <laughs> it's like a number. <laughs> 55 Johnson, you better get your ass over here now. Name your kid WW dot. <laughs> Dude, w -W dot. Use him to like promote your it's, Instagram. Yeah, it's, 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 it's your Aww. Instagram handle. Just add, 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 add soup. <laughs> so, uh, Poof, do you have any like kinks? Yeah, I got some kinks. Go Tell ahead, me show one. With the class. Tell me one. One, one king. I let my dog. Just like the boys kinks. Okay. Why, again? That's the first one you choose? <laughs> Say that again? Say that again? I let my dog lick my dick. <laughs> really? <laughs> Says it again with more enthusiasm. Oh, no. <laughs> I, mean, I don't. I don't see anything wrong with that stuff, but maybe you do. You don't see anything wrong with getting your dog to sexually pleasure you? I don't. You don't think What's that's wrong? rape? What's wrong with it? Man, he's checkmated me. I can't think of anything wrong with him. <laughs> yeah, he's got you in the corner. <laughs> Do you use crunchy or smooth peanut butter? Smooth. Oh, oh I don't use the calories sucking. I don't. I don't the dog I eat it. So you just sit there with just a thing of peanut butter and eat it while your dog licks your balls? No, those are two separate events. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> This guy shows up to like two truths and one lie and like says, I fuck my dog, I eat peanut butter, and I'm a vegan. And, <laughs> and my mom is fine. <laughs> and the lie is that he's vegan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey Poof, let's play a game, okay? Okay. I want you to finish my sentence, alright? Fine. And his name is... Robert. 
<laughs> Robert? He say Robert? I was such a bottom text meme. <laughs> and his name is Robert. Robert. <laughs> can't see him. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna sneeze. I heard that song for the first time, and then my dad, he played it for me, and then he left me like a year later. So that's <laughs> why you hate rock music. <laughs> oh my god, maybe so. I heard Ozzy Osbourne when I was a kid, and then my dog died seven years later. Never again. <laughs> Never listening to Ozzy Osbourne again. <laughs>